take a look at the HP2 engine, the heart of this motorcycle. The new engine, as everyone knows, now utilizes double overhead cams and even with these double overhead cams, this engine is actually narrower than previous K2X or R series engines. Everything on the HP2 Sport engine is actually different than previous K2X, except a few things. One of those things is it still utilizes that oil diaphragm valve to keep the oil from foaming up, and the oil pump that's used in the HP2 Sport engine is also the same as the K2X motors. There's also been a change in the front engine cover, which we'll take a look, look at shortly. And this change has actually been done across the K2X model line from October 2007 production on. And that change is the fact that the balance shaft no longer rides in the front cover as in the older K2X engines. As you can see here from an older engine, the balance shaft used to run in this bearing here. They did, a, did away with this bearing and now runs in a plain bushing inside the case. We'll take this cover off and show you what that looks like on our HP2 motor here. But that change has been across the board on the K2X model line since October 2007. Now, the change in the crankcase, even though it's very similar to the old R1200S engine, there has been a change in the crankcase, and that's due to the spacing of the cylinder head studs that hold your cylinder heads in place. The spacing has changed due to the cylinders being a different thickness than the previous cylinders. Therefore, the case had, had to be changed. So why don't we take this opportunity now to take our front cover off, show you the change that was made to the uh, bearing for the balance shaft. We've removed our timing cover, and you notice that now there's simply just a hole where previously there was this bearing, like on the older K2X engines. Now with the HP2 Sport and with all K2X, starting with October 2007 production, they omitted the bearing in the timing cover here. And you can tell on the front of it, it's just blocked out. So no more bearing cover in the front timing cover. What they have done, and you're not going to be able to see it right here because of the gears in the way, but there's now a plain bushing that is residing in the counter shaft itself where the balance shaft will go through. So on the next slide, you'll see a schematic of this new system so you have a better idea of how the layout is. Also, you'll notice that this gear here no longer utilizes a split gear. I have here in my hand a old gear from an older K2X engine and you'll notice that it utilized a split gear to keep noise down. Due to this change in bearing design and so forth, they have now omitted this split gear and have simply gone to a regular, regular straight gear without any split gear uh, application. So this change was also done across the whole K2X lineup from October 2007 as well. Now let's take a look at this new revolutionary valve train that's in the HP2 Sport.